Hello everyone! I'm Pinky Legaspi from Data Science and Technology Corporation, the provider of world-class robotics education and robotics equipment. In this episode of DSTC Robotics Heroes at Home, we will be talking about INEX. The maker of ATX2, PopX2, Pop7, R3B Arduino, INEX Microbit, iBeam, and many more. These are popular microcontrollers that are used in many classrooms all over the world and in international robot competitions, such as the World Robot Games. And why are we talking about INEX? It's not only because it's one of the best and most powerful robot educational kits in the world, but also because our guest in this episode is the founder, the CEO, and the inventor of INEX Robots. So join me, and together, let's get to know Mr. Chaiwat Limporn Chitwailai. Hello. Hi, Mr. Chaiwat. Welcome. Yes. Here. Welcome. Yes, I think I, I, I sit in uh, my kitchen room. Just have a one by kitchen room, yeah. Right, okay. uh, when can, you can eat here. I can cook something here. Okay. Mr. Chaiwa, thank you very much for accepting the invitation. You're welcome. As many Filipino students, uh, Philippine schools love mm -hmm. all the INEX robots. Mr. Chaiwa, when you were younger, what was your dream career? When I was young, I like history. I don't, I don't think about the robotics. Because I love in history. I love in culture. One day, I still study in uh, grade 8. I met one teacher. He teach me about the uh, electronics subject. I just fall in love at that time and concentrate to electronics. I need to improve myself from mechanics to engineer. Finally, I, I, I graduated from uh, King Mongkut Institute of Technology like a bank in electronic technology engineering. At that time, I learned only the analog design, no circuit design, no more about microcontroller. Around 30 years ago, 30, 35 years ago, Taiwan with robotics very far. Until year 2000, I have an opportunity to go to the USA. I found a radio check, I found a basic stamp microcontroller. Basic stamp is a, a, a tiny microcontroller from Parallax. I back home, I back to Thailand, some professor asked me about the robot. I try to design the robot with the knowledge about a very simple, very simple coding in microcontrollers. That is my, my career path. Start, start from the social, start from the history subject. And now we are robotic engineering. I'm loving history into becoming inventor of robotics. Many students look up to you. They also want to create a robot gadgets, but mm -hmm. some of them are very afraid to pursue a career in engineering. What do you think is the reason that they are mm -hmm. afraid of uh, pursuing a career in science, technology, or engineering? When, when the people afraid something, we have to we have to know about why. In my opinion, if you want to do good for invention, you need money. Less or more depends on your performance. If you are good guys, you can use less money. If you are not not smart guy. You you have to invest more. If you are afraid of or too difficult, you have to try. You try with the very simple one first, like a motor connect the battery and change the voltage to see the motor operation faster. Change direction, turn left or turn right. If you try about this, that's good. Okay, you can go to next step. Just try something first. Uh, after that, you can next, you can go to next step to the coding. I think the people can do everything without uh, afraid. So I have here some of the INEC uh, robot microcontrollers, the IBM, the ATX2, yep. uh, yes, the X2, and then the INEX yep. uh, expansion for yep. Microbeat. So, and then you have yep. a lot more in your office. Yep. Among all this, which is your favorite invention? I love all because every, every controller board is decided from that reason, from, from the situation. ATX2 is... Uh, uh, is a created form for my passion because I, I I look in the market no more the controller board that have the six motor driver eight servo motors and also many sensor port no help that that is that is I I made ATX2 because of that for my passion I want to to lead to lead the technology for the another people for another one for pop X2 for supporting the another person who uh, maybe the have the money 
limit. I not buy the ATS2. I want to use us only only two motor, only three servo. No 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 point to buy ATS2. Yeah. IBM it is a non-programmable controller board. Uh, all board is uh, is made from my heart and look the board all boards like my son. They are all your children. Sure sure. Uh, we have been joining World Robot Games since World Robot Games Jakarta, our first WRG. Yep. Yes, 2015. In all the years, the Thai robotics team has always okay. bagged the <laughs> overall championship. What do you think is the secret of the Thai robotics team? Maybe you can share some of the teaching tips? <laughs> okay, Lily. No secret. Uh, Mr. Torah also asked me why Thai Thailand team very very concentrated about the games in Thailand. I think around year 2010, uh, and Thailand team joined the Robo Cup in Singapore. From that from that from that time, government, university, many school interest that and give some scholarship for the winners of the robotic games. You can go to university without testing, and if you are get the champion of the world like a Robo Cup. Or maybe at, 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 at this time, over the WRT, you can get full scholarship for years in university. So that's their incentive for doing very well. Yes, very yes. Well. Not only champion, runner up also can, third prize also can, technical award also can. Then uh, all, all participants have to do good. I think now, last year, we get uh, the scholarship amount more than 1 million baht. Wow. Uh, uh, around, I think maybe around 1.8 1. million peso oh. the scholarship. Uh, about about the, the, the teacher who teach the robotics school, I think the success story is before 2015. I think Philippines team, Philippine student, maybe less know less about robotics. But now, the Philippine team is developed a lot. The improvement gap is very high, you know. You do good now. Philippines very grow very fast. Just for about five years. I think the teacher is do good and do right thing on the on the right way already. But only I think only only improve about the passion. Thailand team have more passion than another. I think the Philippine team need to develop only the passion. Yeah. You can you you have to do right thing and good thing for get the winners. Forget the awards. Please uh, you don't you don't think about uh, the Thailand team have the special technique have the special secret story. I never, I never do that. Our participants, they practice more than eight hours per day before the game, two or three months. That is the secret. Yes, thank you very much for those wonderful insights, Mr. Chaiwat. At this time, I will ask for a virtual tour of your robotics area. Before that, I show, I let me show you about this one. Okay. The, yeah. the, the new robot hit this one, the Oliver. I call it by the Oliver. Yeah, Oliver is uh, the very, very simple one, one board, the robotics board. Very simple kit, maybe for beginner, they use the light is the power bank to the power supply. This board can connect the, the Wi Fi. You can use the, the IoT robotics for oh. this one. This one, the sensor, the ultrasonic sensors, and use the power bank to the power supply. No need the lithium polymer. Uh, the the okay. student can chat. Uh, chat anytime. Very simple one. The servo motor, very, very nice. Yeah. I will give one key for the Philippines. Ah! Please, uh, uh, lucky draw, lucky draw. Yeah, yeah for the one, uh, you, you, you select one, one lucky guy or woman or lady for somebody to get, I will send the kit very lady. Wow, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I cook here. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. one. Yeah. This one, a uh, refrigerator for put something. Everything in refrigerator, anybody can eat it. My office, sorry. The uh, okay, a customer can walk in here and also have some stuff over there. Yeah. This is my sister. Hello. Say hello. Hi. Say hello. Say hello. Hi. Yeah, I saw her yeah. and met her in WRG. Yeah, yeah. Now she looks uh, look older than this no. year, last year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we walk to the my engineer room. Oh yes. Okay, this is my engineer room. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. 
okay, my engineer to uh, to do something, Hi. coding. This is my my table. No, no table. Yeah, no half MD room. <laughs> I sit here and work with them. No separated room. Yes. Yeah. Like uh, to the pin, uh, the laser cutter over there. Uh, the new experiment board. But, uh, material. The first product that you, that you see before is this the finishing product inventory. Many many material over there. A lot, a lot. The simple visit tour. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you are now going back to again. your kitchen. Uh, to my my kitchen room. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and also. Uh, yeah, and, and so, uh, not, now we, we also have meeting room, but also like a storage room now. Uh -huh. Put many things in, in the meeting room. Sometimes meeting in the kitchen room. <laughs> we have the, uh, the noodles, the ingredients. Now we have the uh, eggs, something, so many, so many. Okay. Like a house, but office. I mean, office like, like their house. What is your favorite food? Me? Uh, really, I, I, I like noodles. La, la noodles, uh, I, I mean uh, every noodle in the world, mm -hmm. like uh, okay, spaghetti, Chinese noodle, Thai noodle, cup noodles, instant noodle, <laughs> I love it. Oh. Also the, the Philippine, Philippine noodles. Palabok. I can call it Palabok, yes, like yes, 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 sure. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Chai Wat, for allowing yeah, this welcome. interview and the virtual tour. Uh, I got lost in the virtual tour. So many robots to see, so many parts. So Thank that's you for, for your for your time and give chance for me to to talk something with the, our our family in Philippines. And we love INEX. So we hope yeah, to see too, you again too. in the see in our again. next robot competition. So any last uh, message? Yeah, save your health. See you. See you. Bye bye. Yes. Thank bye you time. very much. Bye bye. Bye, bye. Thank you very much, Mr. Chai Wat Lim Chip Wildlife. And we'd like to see you again soon, personally, when we meet in the World Robot Games. So hopefully the WRG Taiwan will happen in February 2021. And to all of you, thank you for tuning in to DSTC Robotics Heroes at Home. Don't forget to click subscribe and leave a comment. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm.